All right, today we're in the beautiful city of Huntington Beach and I'm gonna be showing you how to apply smooth finish on block walls. The process I'm gonna show you is gonna be the same if you're applying it on homes, barbecues, patches, additions, so pay attention. All right, for block walls, you're gonna need a brown coat just like you see here. I made a video on how to apply a brown coat over block walls, so if you haven't seen it, I'll put a link in the description below. And in this part of the video, uh, Nick's gonna be mixing up the stucco. So we're gonna be mixing two bags of stucco in this one uh, bucket of uh, that we have for mixing. So what you wanna do is you wanna put your color packs in there first and make sure you put water first and then your color packs. And then you're gonna wanna mix up your stucco. Um, what he's doing is mixing it up little by little. You don't wanna shoot them both in at the same time. You're gonna, you're gonna jam up your, your drill and paddle. And at the same time, you want to make sure it's not too loose. You want it nice and clumpy. You want to break up any balls that are inside those bags. Uh, that way, when you're spreading it, you're not going to have any bumps and lumps on on your uh, hawk and trout when you're spreading it. And the last thing you want is is some clumps when you're trying to spread uh, the smooth finish. And you can see in the background, we have everything already masked off. You have paper on the floor. We have tape on all the edges. And this makes up makes uh, cleaning up very easy once we're done we just take off the tape and roll up that paper and um, kind of uh, you know makes it a lot easier to clean up another crucial step you want to make sure you wet the walls you see martin here is wetting the walls last thing you want to do is spread uh your, your stucco over uh, a dry uh, dry walls because it'll just it'll just lock up on you and you won't be able to work your 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 stucco <clears throat> you can see martin here putting on the uh, the first coat of uh of stucco now this is going to take two coats so this is going to be the first coat that we apply on the wall and on the left hand side you can see miguel was working on the uh on the on the corners so you want to make sure you do everything simultaneously you can't do the corners later you kind of got to do everything at the same time because it's all going to dry up at the same time you try to do it later you can have big joints and big uh big marks on the wall big black marks so that's why he's doing the corner tools and make and martin he's spreading the first coat of, of uh, stucco and on the right side you can see jaime he's actually putting on the first coat on that wall and they're gonna try and meet in the middle Okay, on this part of the video, you can see that they're floating out the walls. Now, so what Martin's doing, he's going in circular motion, floating everything out. There's trowel marks and there's bumps on the wall. And what he's doing is floating it out, making sure everything is nice and even. This is a crucial step to a smooth finish. So make sure you don't uh, miss this step or else your walls are not going to look nice and smooth. So you can see uh, Miguel's actually working ahead of him and applying the uh, corner tool on all the corners of, of, the, uh, of the walls. Smooth finish is one of the finer finishes compared to uh, sand finish. Because if you were to do, if we we're gonna do a sand finish on this wall, it's just you apply it, you float it, and you keep going. Now, that's the reason why smooth finish is one of the more expensive finishes because you kind of have to apply two coats and kind of work the material until it's nice and uh, nice and smooth okay here we have martin applying the uh the second coat of stucco on the wall as you can see he uh he applies one coat on the wall and when he brings his trowel down he kind of flattens everything out at the same time 
So as he goes up and then he goes down, that way he is kind of flattening everything out at the same time. And here you have Miguel kind of helping uh, Martin flatten everything out. That way the, the wall doesn't dry up on him. See that he's just going up and down, kind of placing the stucco where it needs to be. This is after the whole wall has been uh, spread out. You can see Miguel troweling everything, making sure everything's nice and smooth. What, what you want to do here is apply light pressure to the wall and that kind of sinks all the heavy uh, stucco into the wall and it kind of brings out the cream in the stucco and that's what's actually going to uh, achieve the, uh, the smooth look on your wall is uh, just troweling, troweling, troweling and all the actual moisture from the wall is actually going to come out and you're going to use that moisture on the wall to achieve the uh, the smooth finish and along with that he has a spray pump to kind of help bring out the moisture in the wall and you can see uh, Jaime what he's doing is cleaning his tools you, you want always want to have clean tools when you're working a smooth finish the last thing you want is dirty tools and because that's going to leave marks on your wall. So it's very important to keep your tools nice and clean. So this is the third pass that uh, we're doing on this wall with the trowel. And that's why smooth finish is so expensive. You got to kind of trowel it, trowel it, trowel it until you achieve the, uh, the smooth finish or else you're gonna have a rough finish on your wall. And as he's troweling this wall, you could see uh, <clears throat> other two guys over there uh, continuing the process as they go along. Um, usually this job for any other stucco finish would probably require only two guys, but we have uh, three guys on the job and two moving forward and one dropping back and troweling everything. You can already see the uh, stucco starting to take up you can see certain areas drying up already. You can see, uh, and that's gonna be the final color. It's gonna be like a lighter brown, not a dark brown. The areas that are that are dark are still wet. All right, so if you followed all my steps, this is what your block wall should look like. Smooth, you run your hand on it, it's nice and smooth. So hopefully, hopefully you like this video and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe.